Welcome back to video number 81. Okay, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, actually, we already grabbed all of our code from our edit underscore info dot PHP page, and we pasted it into our edit underscore page dot PHP page. But um, our information and page, was it page or pages table that we created in our database? Same thing. Uh, is For the most part, it's gonna be, we're gonna be running the same functions and tests but there's still gonna be some differences. So first thing that we wanna do is I wanna go ahead and include the form that we just created. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do under here, inside here, include our form functions. I believe that's what we called it. And we'll go ahead and close that out. I'm gonna pause the video and check to see if it was, if our folder is called include or includes. Actually, I won't pause the video. I'll just see right here. Wasting everybody's time. Includes, okay, and then here it should be form underscore functions. I believe that's what we had. Form underscore functions. Okay, we're all good. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and create a content value right here in our array required underscore fields because in our pages table we have another uh, category for our content so go ahead and just give it another space single quotations and we will call it content and what we're going to do now is we're going to take this for each loop out of here grab this code pull it up i'm going to back this up a little bit and inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the function that we just created in the last video, or was it two videos ago? The check underscore required fields function. And the reason that I deleted that, because if you look back at our functions, all of our code is already in here. So we don't want to do it twice because that will mess up our form. So what we want to do is I can get rid of our form underscore functions right here, but this is the code that we're ultimately looking to pull in through this function and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and give it our variables set equal to a new PHP function array underscore merge and let's use our errors and what was that function called I believe it was called check and we don't need to write function right here just check underscore nope required fields And then let's go ahead and just copy and paste our variable right here to avoid spelling errors. Right like that. And I believe we're missing a closing tag right here. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Now let's go ahead and close out this statement. Okay, now we're going to take this for reach out loop again because we're going to use our function that we created called max underscore field underscore lengths right here so I'm going to put this in my external browser you guys already have the code it's on your form underscore functions file and what we're going to do is I'm going to consolidate this just a tad uh oh text message sorry about that it was one of my buddies okay uh, where were we okay so we can go ahead and pull this out we can copy and paste our new function in there or I could just hard code it in there to avoid confusion. And that's what I'll do. So I'll just take this right here, grab our for each loop, pull it out of here because it's already in the function. And I'll just go ahead and delete the comment while I'm at it. Uh oh. Field underscore width lengths array menu 30 value. Perfect. Okay, so there's equal array merge errors and it was what check underscore max field lengths and let's go ahead and copy and paste this just to avoid confusion copy and paste right there and we've got one opening two opening one closing two closing 
Okay, save. I'm going to save this. I'm going to end this video right here because it's going to get confusing, more confusing from here on out if I keep going. So just make sure your code looks like this and understand what we're doing. We deleted our for each loops from our edit underscore info dot PHP page and we plugged in our new functions that contain the for each loops that were in our form underscore functions dot PHP file. So make sure that your uh, code looks like this. Don't try to reload it in the browser yet. It's not going to work. Just go ahead and make sure it looks like this and save it. I'll see you guys in the next video.